are good to go. Or what government analysts are calling a landslide victory. <laughs> This is 30 seconds, folks. Hello to you. Donnie here. How many so-called people will be playing? One player. This should be a Febreze. Enter your name for me, if you please. All right. Now, here's what you're going to do. You will... Time is money. Got it. Let's get this ball running. Today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Fistable Bowling Equipment, Inc. Bury yourself in your ball right up to your wrist. Fistable Bowling Equipment. Okay, let's begin. To get started, Muppet Rabies. Considering their natural life cycles, which Muppet baby shouldn't have arms? Baby Fozzie, Baby Rolf, Baby Piggy, or... Frogs are armless tadpoles during the early stages of their life cycles. So really, Baby Kermit shouldn't have any arms or legs. Or be able to talk. Or sleep in a crib with a bear and a pig. Now that I think about it, there are a lot of problems with that show. <laughs> Up next, Girl Got Issues. If Joan of Arc revealed her visions on the Dr. Phil show, what would he tell her? Let's get real, you don't really want to kill your dad. Maybe. Joan of Arc claimed to hear the voices of Saints Michael, Catherine, and Margaret, which persuaded her to save France from the English attempt at conquest in the 100 Years' War. But Dr. Phil only answers to one voice, and that's Oprah. This one's known as All Headbands on Deck. If the CEO of Old Navy required his employees to refer to him as the highest naval officer rank, how should he be addressed? The captain of cargo pants? The master commander of mi- In the naval hierarchy, the fleet admiral is the highest possible ranking. But that's just his day title. At home, he requires his family to refer to him as the seaman of boxer shorts. Here's a good one. Intern Art History 101. And yep, it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names. For each one, tell me if it's a video with over a quarter million views on YouTube or a painting by Renoir. If it's a YouTube video, press one on your keyboard. If it's a Renoir painting, Press the number two. Each one right gets you $300. But get one wrong, 300 bucks goes down the YouTube. And you've got 30 seconds to paint this picture. We good? Here we go. Woman in a rocking chair. Two young girls at the piano. Dog eats dinner. Great lady folks. Young boy with a cat. History of dance. Nude on cushions. As Renoir would say, dude, you totally pwned. Look, I dare you to find me a work of art in the Louvre that is better than a cat playing a piano. <laughs> I mean, it's a cat playing piano. <laughs> no, no, I don't stop. I don't stop. <laughs> Where's the bomb, girl? Take a good look at, it's in the mole. If I wanted to whack one mole worth of moles during a game of whack-a-mole, how many would that be? 3.14159 moles, 8,000 moles, somewhere between one. One mole is a unit of measurement used in chemistry that is equal to Avogadro's number, which is roughly 602 followed by 21 zeros. That's a lot of moles. <laughs> And whacking that many moles will win me 25.3 billion Dave & Buster's prize tickets, which is almost enough to win an ashtray and a comb. That'll bring an end to our first round. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. Let's see what's in store. Next, stop eating your crayons. Which of these is not a Crayola crayon eating another Crayola crayon? An elephant eating a peanut, a manatee? 
I kid you not, Crayola has 120 of what they call core colors. And six of them are manatee, salmon, canary, inchworm, beaver, and macaroni and cheese. There is no elephant or peanut. Some other actual Crayola colors I could have used. A timber wolf eating asparagus, a pink flamingo eating cotton candy, and a beaver eating macaroni and cheese. Wait, did I already mention that? <laughs> I guess I did. Oh well, I just wanted to be sure I mentioned a beaver eating macaroni and cheese. Well, let's beaver eating macaroni and cheese on to the next question. Question seven. Next up, my eyebrows are lettuce and my gym teacher married me. Oh, man, I had another really bonkers dream last night. Oh, eating pizza and watching a movie before bed. Why can't I quit you? Anyway, in the dream, I figured out a way to live among my cats, mayonnaise and poopsie by downloading my brain into a fake cat. I learned about and became a part of their cat culture. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. But then my mom attacked all of us and destroyed the giant tree where we all lived. Which is crazy because my mom really is a cat person. Anyway, what freaking movie was I watching last night that gave me such a weird dream? Watchmen? Avatar? Oh yeah, I was watching James Cameron's Avatar. Overall, it was a pretty amazing dream. I mean, I wouldn't award it best dream of the year or anything, but it was good. The part where I attached my ponytail to my cat was a little awkward, though. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Here's one for you. Who arted? Which of these classic toys would French artist George Seurat probably enjoy the most? Play-Doh, alphabet magnets, l George Seurat is considered the father of pointillism, a painting technique using a combination of colored dots just like light bright. And speaking of classic toys, Silly Putty is great if you want to counterfeit any works of art, except that they always come out in reverse and flesh colored. Pucker up for Windows 7. Which musician could not use his or her name as a Windows file name? Kesha, Questlove, Will I Am, or Old Dirty Bat? Windows file names cannot contain a less than, greater than, colon, double quotation mark, forward or backslash, vertical bar, asterisk, or question mark. So Questlove couldn't name a file with his name on a Windows computer. But he could just pick a different symbol. Well, almost any symbol. He couldn't be colon love. Hold me, never let me go. And my <laughs> this one's called Hopscotch on the Rocks. Okay, take a moment to collect your thoughts. This next question is going to require some high-level mathematical thinking. What I'm about to ask you has puzzled humans for centuries. Ready? How many squares do you make when you play four square? Four, five, six... There are the four titular squares, of course. Then there's the one big square they make up together. I was gonna ask how many squares there are in a tic-tac-toe board, but I didn't want to blow your mind. Step right up. Of course, who wants to hear my yapping? Oh, I'm still doing it. Sorry, here you go. What does your P mean? My P is just perfect. Good luck.
There it is. Well, hey, now that kind of score is the kind of score that'll get you noticed. Not by anyone of the opposite sex or by your boss or instructor or parents or neighbors or by no means anyone in the media, but noticed nonetheless by those few people who will see your name on the high scoreboard and say, hmm, hmm. Donnie, what's happening? Okay, give me a piece if you'd like to engage in another tourniquet of wits. Are you in the market for a new used van? When you think fans, think fans, fan bands, fan lot. Hello, I'm Vance, Van Van, and I sell the sweetest vans in the city. They've got 8-track players, water beds, airbrush murals, beaded curtains. Hey Vance, what's that weird burning smell? Never you mind that, kid. You'll understand when you're older. Hey! Okay, my vans don't come with satellite radio and GPS and la di da, but they do have character and carpeted walls. So, when you think vans, think Vans Van Vans Van Lot. Conveniently located down by the old abandoned airport that's probably haunted. You know the one. And remember, if Vans Van Vans Van Lots are rocking, be sure to stop in and buy a van from me, Vans Van Van. Hello, I'm Senator Bruce Stegmeyer. I'm hard on crime, and I approve this cartoon bonus sound. We're not leaving this house, mister, until you brush your teeth. Arrgh, this is so stupid! Hey parents, news flash. Brushing your teeth is lame. Drinking out of a keg is cool. Hi, I'm Al Grin, owner of Grin Toothpaste Kegs, and it's time to turn your kid's toothbrush and stand off into a toothbrush and keg stand. Hold on to the keg, Mark. Your father and I have got your legs. Brush, brush, brush! Ha 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 That looks like a great time. Go from a dud parent to a stud parent with these cool toothpaste kegs. Isn't it time you threw a party in your kid's mouth? Tap into a healthy smile with Grin Toothpaste Kegs. Mommy, we need candy. We need it bad. Okay, sweethearts, here's a candy bar from the supermarket. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it, Mommy. Hey, kids, I got what you're looking for. Little Smacky. Whoa, hey, you don't need to announce it to the world. Okay, you want the highest quality candy contraband available? Yeah. I got your choice high concentration fruit chews. I got your Malta milk balls, imported from Mexico. I got the finest sugar tots you've ever seen in powdered form. Wow, it's so fine. Whoa, hey, look with your eyes, kid. Need accessories? We got tons of pipes, pieces, and candy bongs for when uh, your little lungs have a big sweet tooth. We'll take it all. Susie, take mommy's purse. Hey. Pleasure doing business, kids. And remember, share your juice, share your dolls, but never share your candy. Candy needles. We love Little Smackies Candy Contraband! This Monday, catch the season six premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C, Helen Hunt, Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show. And the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna smell good. It's Farting with the Stars, where the only thing louder will be the roar of the crowd. Monday at, whoop, excuse me, Monday at seven, be there. Celebrity Farts Impersonated. Extremely secretive and expensive government research suggests that cats like gum. More on that tonight. Do my bangs look better swept this way or that way? Um, probably that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. And now, great, great moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. It's old.